Good morning, guys. Uh, our lesson today will be about inheritance. Uh, we are going to come across uh, some of the studies that has been done by the father of genetics, that known as Gregor Mendel. Uh, Gregor Mendel discovered the principles of inheritance with experiments in which large number of pea plants were crossed. You can see here uh, the, ex the first experiment done by Mendel when he crossed a tall plant with a short plant. He found that all the generations were tall, but he did not predict that at the start. He predicted that the resulting plants were having intermediate characteristics of the two, so they can have medium height. This is what he expects. But what did he found? He found that all of them have inherited only the uh, tall features of being tall, and the one of being short didn't appear in the first generation. Then he made another experiment. He crossed the tall plants together that he collected from the first generation. He found that the short characteristic reappeared again, but was in a smaller ratio. The ratio was 3 to 1. Uh, this is one of the experiments when a uh, yellow parents have crossed with the green ones all f1 generations were all yellow while in the second generation the green reappeared again but in it was in a small ratio the ratio of yellow to green was three yellow to one green uh, mendel has done some conclusion based on his experiments but we are going to come across this conclusion later on he put two laws the first law we call it law of segregation and the second law, we call it law of independent assortment. Now we are going to uh, watch a short video about Mendel's history and his experiments, and then we'll complete our discussion about uh, first and second law of Mendel. Monk teacher and biologist, Gregor Mendel is known today as the father of modern genetics. Gregor Mendel's experiments on pea plants were fundamental in establishing the field of modern genetics. Born Johann Mendel on July 22, 1822, in what was Austria and is now the Czech Republic, Mendel excelled at school and became an Augustinian monk to further his education. He was given the name Gregor when he entered the monastery. The monastery sent him to the University in Vienna and uh, that gave him the education in science, math, chemistry, and botany that he then brought back to use in his teaching. Mendel accepted a teaching position at the monastery in Brno after completing his university studies. It was during this period he began his famous pea plant experiments. Before Mendel, people thought you would equally inherit the traits of parent A and parent B in equal proportions. Mendel experimented with pea plants and found that instead there were dominant and recessive traits in all organisms that were passed on statistically based upon the mixing of genes between the two parents. This theory is now known as the law of segregation. Mendel also formulated the law of independent assortment. The law of independent assortment addressed the fact that there are a large number of traits. These traits are passed on randomly and are independent of the other traits and of the traits of the two different parents. The ability to explain hereditary diseases and to engineer plants with desired properties are all consequences of the fundamental theory founded by Mendel. During his life, Gregor Mendel's research was disregarded by almost everyone. It wasn't until the early 1900s, after his death, that Mendel's work was appreciated and now serves as the basis for genetics and heredity. In his later years, Mendel became the abbot of his monastery and spent less time with his scientific endeavors. Gregor Mendel died in 1884 at the age of 62. Gregor Mendel's work laid the foundation for modern genetics, for modern gene therapy, and is the basis for some of the most exciting discoveries in medicine currently and in the near future. Here are the list of characteristics that uh, studied by Mendel. 
um, he was uh, uh, studying some features of the seeds, flower, pod, and stem. Regarding the seeds, some of them were uh, regarding the cotyledon, some were yellow and some were green. For the form of the seeds, some were round and some were wrinkled, gray and white. For the flowers, uh, the color of the flower, uh, white and violet or purple. For the pod, the form of the pod, full and constricted, and the color of the pod, yellow and green. For the stem, the place of flower is in stem, axil uh, or terminal. And for the size, some were long and some were short. These are list of the characteristics that discovered by Mendel. And Mendel uh, put his assumption that uh, there is a heritable factor. This heritable factor that passed from the parent to the offspring led the offspring to inherit the characteristics. And he called the characteristic that appear only in the first generation as dominant and the one which was hidden in the first generation as recessive. You can see here in this table the results of Mendel experiment, uh, which proved the ratio in the second generation, three to one with all the uh, phenotypes that he studied. Uh, he made his experiment on seven characteristics in the pea plants. And he found that in the first generation, in the first generation, only one characteristic appeared. He called it dominant. While in the second generation, F2, it was found that the two characteristics appear, but in a ratio of three to one. Three for the dominant and one for the recessive. And here is the table of his results. Spherical and wrinkled seeds, yellow and green seeds, purple and white flowers, inflated and constricted pods, green and yellow pods, uh, axial and terminal flowers, tall and dwarf stems. The ratio is almost 3 to 1 in all the experiments. This is what led Mendel to put his law for independent assortment, which is say that each trait is inherited and uh, assorted independently of the other one. But uh, of course, it has some constrictions and limitations. We are going to discuss it uh, in the coming lesson. While the law of segregation states that the allele pairs uh, segregate or separate during formation of gamete and then randomly unite at fertilization. And Mendel, in fact, was not the first scientist to use the pea plant. Thomas Andrew Knight, or as we can call him, Knight, he made also his experiments on the pea plant and he was having some important discoveries. First, he said that both male and female contribute equally to the offspring phenotype. Secondly, he said that characters uh, such as white flower color that apparently disappear in offspring can reappear in the next generation. Showing that the inheritance is discrete rather than blending. Three, he said that one character, such as red flower color, can show a stronger tendency than the alternative character. And this is what supports uh, when Mendel say dominant and recessive. Although Mendel was not as pioneering in his experiments as sometimes thought, he deserved credit for another aspect of his research. Mendel was pioneer in obtaining quantitative results in having large number of replicates. He also did seven different cross experiments, not just one. 
And this is why Mendel experiment was very famous because he based his studies on a scientific basis and on um, he did mathematical calculation for all his findings for the first and for the second generation. He did not depend only on one uh, characteristics, but he made the experiment uh, seven times or seven characteristics on the pea plants. It's now standard practice in science to include repeats in experiments to demonstrate reliability of results. Repeats can be compared to see how close they are. Anomalous results can be identified and excluded from analysis. A statistical test can be done to assess the significance of differences between treatments. It's also standard practice to repeat the whole experiment using different organisms or different treatments. To test the hypothesis in different ways, Mendel should therefore be regarded as one of the fathers of genetics. But even more, we should think of him as a pioneer of research methods in biology. So to summarize, uh, law of segregation uh, states that every organism has two alleles Pair the trait and those alleles separate during formation of gametes. So alleles separate during formation of gametes. While the law of independent assortment, independent Assortment explained that the hereditary factors that later on are called genes assort independently during the gamete formation, giving different traits an equal opportunity of occurring together. So, the heritable factors assort independently and randomly.